Hello, and welcome back to Terraria. I am uh, still working on my my elevator here. We're, we're almost there. We're almost in the underworld. Uh, and then I'll, I'll have a pretty convenient access point. And then, you know, like, what I what I do need to do is, is start building a hell bridge. Is something I commonly do. Yeah, that was one thing I was worried about in terms of losing our, our water. Um, I think this is flush on the on this right side here. Something I'll come I usually do when I'm playing with a friend is uh, I'll have them like mine one side and I'll mine the other side and we'll just like dr drill right straight down and it, it even with like really basic tools it's it goes very quickly. It's pretty fun. It's very satisfying. I know that uh, the little tink tink sound can get kind of like tiresome, but it's really fun when you have like two players going at the same time and it's like do 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 tink 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 tink. I am probably going to use a um I really appreciate the addition of like little gems and stuff. It makes um the monotony the monotony of digging underground it really kind of pleasantly like, adds a little bit of a gotcha element of like yes you you found something exciting uh literally anything oh god okay that's that's not good i don't know do do we get anything in my inventory's full no it's just it's just giblets there's some gold on the left side there too bad it's surrounded by lava okay don't really want to uh, fall in lava. Ironically, the climbing shoes would be good here. Um, I don't know. I think I don't have any water up, but these waterfalls indicate that I do have some water. No, no, I don't. Okay, uh, I just want to like continue the rope. Action. And rope action also means that we don't have to necessarily use a recall potion. Recall potions are good, but they're also, you know, kind of valuable, semi-valuable. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's fine. It's working out now. Definitely going to want to make um, the anti... The, the Sorry, the fireproof potion that makes us immune to lava should be nice wow our sugar glider just like took a bath in lava and did not give two farts about it okay so um what i'm gonna do is dig out a little bit of this water i did say that this water was going to be useful for us in the future and i'm not going to completely get rid of it obviously we need it um but i am going to um pull a little bit of it out so we can we can turn that bottom that lava that's in currently in our way into um obsidian i'm just going to drain it a little bit and then we'll, we'll plug it back up again and hopefully it's in a position that i can can get rid of that lava down there all right we're just going to continue on we're we must be getting very close I just say, I think about how many accessories we, we have to collect. There's so many accessories in this game. And, you know, we got to get all of them and hopefully combine them. There's a, it's actually, uh, there's not a, there's not a 0% chance that you actually can't make some of the late game gear because you just don't have, you don't find some of the necessary accessories. Things like the cell phone um, are really notoriously difficult to make because oh wow okay all right it's a party down here i suppose um because like if you don't if you just happen to not find a chest with like the 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 necessary like extra thing um then you can't make it you can't make the cell phone and i do want to make the cell phone i don't think i've ever made it i've tried at least not on, like, not using one world. You know what I mean by that? Like, um, something you can do is you can carry over your, your character to other worlds. So I am actually just going to uh, unplug this completely now. This is, this is just as good as what we had. Uh, but now... 
we can actually continue our elevator. And same as before, I kind of want to don't just want to like get rid of this lava or sorry, th this water. So I am going to try and make use of of it while we have it evaporate and and oh oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. The worst thing I could have done. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh no. And I have no way of like getting rid of that. You know what we can do is I can make a bucket. Why don't you just get in the bucket? Um, I'll make a bucket and uh, we'll get some... Oh, I guess we do have blood zombies, huh? Oh, they can they can open the door, can't they? If I want to, I can just like seal the roof and the, the doorway. I don't have to necessarily deal with this if I don't want to. But I think there is good stuff to get from these creatures. So I will... I'll, I'll fight this off. Why not? Like, I don't know what that is, but it's something good. Blood tier. Also, there's some really good money to be gotten from this. If I find a traveling merchant with, like, a really good yo-yo, then I'm 100% going to be grateful I have that money. Also, I probably should buy a piggy bank. I think the nice thing about the piggy bank is that if you buy, like, if you're buying from a merchant, um, you can, you can just, like spend the money if it's in your piggy bank. Like, it'll just automatically spend that money. Some really good money in these blood zombies. I thought the blood zombies were, um, a crimson only thing. I guess I was, like, just completely wrong about that. I should, uh, plug up that ceiling. It's not okay that they can just drop on me right now. Might honestly do a time lapse on this because you're just gonna see a lot of me just killing zombies and stuff. Has defeated his 50th zombie. That means I get a, a a banner that I'm gonna throw into a chest or something. I know the banners give you a, a bonus for killing creatures, but I, don't, I really don't think it's that worthwhile. But more worthwhile for like some of the end game creatures. But even then, if you've killed 50 of a of a thing, what do you care if you have like a advantage to killing that thing? I've never understood that banner. There's actually a really good mod that lets you have, have a banner uh, display that just holds all of the banners, and then you get the bonus from all of the banners on it. And it doesn't take up, like, a lot of space, because the banners can take up a lot of space. There's one for every single creature in the game. And at a certain point, you just don't want to see them anymore. Like, they're really cool, don't get me wrong. I like the banners as a concept. I love the collector's mentality of it. But um, I do wish the, the quality of life handling of the banners was a bit better. This will be a, maybe a good way of collecting lenses. We're gonna need some lenses. At least the, I didn't think the boom, I thought the boomerang used up mana every time I used it, and I'm glad it doesn't because I'm able to use it pretty much as much as I want. I guess there must be an enchanted yo-yo. I do like the yo-yos in this game. I do probably want to try and get terrarium, which is the best yo-yo in the game. Even if I don't make a terraria, or sorry, a yo-yo build. But I was playing with the idea of doing a bow, uh, bow build, because I've never played with bows in this game at all. I don't know, something, I love bow mechanics. I've talked in other series about how Bow mechanics are some of my favorite in, you know, mainstay mechanics in every and any kind of survival based game because I love the idea of like having to recollect my ammo and, and ammo being a scarce resource, but it's not in Terraria and um, the bows just kind of end up being difficult to use because the, the arrows themselves have gravity, which is fine, you know, it's not something that's super difficult to work around. But I just, like, if you're picking between a bow and a gun, which, you know, there are many guns in Terraria, why would you pick a bow? Uh, you know, genuinely asking. Honestly, um, you know, I would appreciate in the comments a uh, bit of an opinion talk about, you know, what, what is your favorite build in Terraria? What is, what's the one you always end up landing on? I almost always end up landing on the summoner's build. 
for the end game because it's like the easiest one to work with because it does an absurd amount of damage and um, it's also it also means that you don't have to worry about hitting bosses as well as dodging you can just focus on dodging which I find is you know just kind of makes things a lot easier for your, myself Oh god, things are getting kind of... Uh, and there it is. I, I forget how we get the Dryad. A Dryad is a, is an important character that we I, I need to obtain at some point. I feel like the stars are shinier than they were in previous updates. Jagged Shackle. Okay, so we got a Shackle. Those, are, those can be upgraded, I think, to something nice. Got another lens. I don't know how many lenses we've got, but... It's got to be a few now. Some of the sound effects in this game are really good. I should um, maybe start thinking about making the... Uh, I guess the, the Eye of Cthulhu will just attack normally. It, it's not something I have to necessarily summon. There's our hundredth zombie. Okay, so Mr. Traveling Merchant, what do you have? Anything good this time? DPS meter. Displayer damage per second. That's actually pretty good. Life form analyzer displays the name of rare creatures around you. So we'll buy that. We'll buy both of those things. And then I'm also going to go buy the piggy bank. And um, I, I can't unfortunately store it down there. I think I could um, just barely fit it here though. There we go. I'll put I'll put the money in there. I don't I don't foresee myself needing. Um, to store anything else really in there. Yeah, so now we actually have like money. So let's sell, uh, I'm gonna sell some ammo, like some of our jewels. I don't really need them too much. I need a bucket. There it is. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with this lava situation. Actually, <clears throat> I feel, I guess the, the better way of getting water would just go, go under, underground. We can just do this. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. When I can just do this. So we're just gonna... I'm just gonna, you know... Free all of the water that is very convenient to me. Ooh! Fairy! Show me. Oh, wow. Okay. I I'll take it. I can't believe I missed that, actually. I know, uh... Let's, let's not repeat our mistake. <clears throat> but I am gonna use up some of this water on the top part. <clears throat> Alright, this is this is a much better position to be in. And even if the lava somehow escapes, um, it, there's a nice little extra dam here. Ensuring our safety. Alright, we'll just leave it at that. That's fine. Actually, hmm. Like, I don't need any more obsidian. I'm pretty sure I have all of the obsidian I need. I just don't like to, you know, waste the water while it's here. There we go. Well, there's our first pain in the butt. Actually, that's not uh, one of the imps. That's like an actual mage skeleton. He might uh, might give us something good if we kill him. Yeah, that's Tim. Tim is good. Tim gives us a, a wizard hat. I can't believe there's a, a mining cart here. This is not something I've ever really seen. Are we gonna get dipped in lava? Huh. Yo, this is this is a really nice little mine cart here. I'm very concerned I'm gonna get dunked in lava, but it doesn't seem to be doing that for us. Wow. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for like life gems. Oh there it is. Shoot. And our, lo our money is pretty much um, unobtainable. Oof. Alright, well, let's, um, I'm gonna go, we're not gonna do too much in the underworld. Like I said, we can't really do anything in there until we've, like, there's like, I'm skipping like six steps here. Because, like, there's the meteorite, and then there's the uh, dungeon, and we also have to kill a few bosses. So there's really no reason for us to be going to the underworld. Um, but it would be a good way of trying to 
get some extra health, ironically. Because, you know, I, I could use some extra health. I'm not sure where. We might actually be at max health. I think it's either 200 or it's 400 is max health. And then it doubles over again once we get to hard mode with some of the uh, jungle jungle life gems. But I'm going to take a roam, make a roam around. Gravitational potion. That's actually really good. We just got a really good find. I can't believe I lost my money again. You know, as long as we have a gravitational potion, I am skipping several steps here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn our map on for a second here, and I'm going to consume this. This is, I've, I've found one of the best ways of uh, finding a Sky Islands. There's one there. And uh, I'm not going to, like, explore it right now. I just want to know where it is. I find um, finding Sky Islands to be kind of a huge pain in the butt. Gravitational potions makes it very easy. I was so um, excited at the prospects of, of the Moon Lord when, um, you know, sorry for the spoilers, but, um, you know, I when I found out that the Moon Lord was a kind of a revealed boss that was going to happen, I was really excited because I, I really did think that eventually Terraria would add the moon as a place you could go to. Specifically, I thought that it was going to be kind of like um, Noida in that you could like go upwards and um, if you went up high enough, eventually you would like hit land and uh, there'd be like, you'd be able to explore the moon, maybe upside down. I still think that that could make for a really fun mod, like a, a place you can only explore if you use a gravitational potion. But um, yeah, not, not, it hasn't been added. I haven't seen a mod do it and I haven't, it hasn't been added to Terraria officially. Here's our third Sky Island. I suppose what I could do is real quick is I could um, loot them and then leave. We have um, one minute left of Gravitational Potion. I, sh I, c I could have just looted them. I don't know why I, uh, I didn't do that. Now I'm gonna have to like climb up to them. I'd rather know where they are and have more time to like explore than to, you know, take up time looting them but you know having with in retrospect it would have been a lot it would have been pretty easy to just loot them and leave we have 10 seconds left Ooh, five seconds okay there's actually unfortunately there's no uh there's nothing here we don't have to die from fall damage because i have my cloud in a bottle and we can also check out the ocean on the right side here I'll go down here, loot, loot the crates, leave shark bait. Is there, is there more than one? Uh, we have a ton of recall potions. That's good. Kind of want to just see. Have they expanded this ocean? I feel like there's way more here than there was. I'm gonna recall. Don't want to take a chance and lose more money. All right. Um. So what do we, what did we get from all of that? Eye of the sun can be placed. Uh, I think that's probably for crafting, or maybe it's just more art. Um, we got two Star Furies. One of them is awful, but we they're, they're pretty good weapons right now. Sky Mill. Oh, the Sky Mill is used for crafting. So we can we can throw that in one of these rooms. Um, equipable summons a sh Shark Pup. Well, I might like that more. Yeah, I definitely like that more than the uh, than the than the Sugar Glider. Listen, I'd rather have a fictional shark than, than a sugar glider. If you can make sense of that, please let me know in the comments. I also just think it's cuter somehow. Somehow the, the, the shark is cuter than the sugar glider. Uh, we did get a wizard hat. It is actually pretty good, but it requires not having a light source anymore. Uh, okay, these are my weapons. I guess I'll, I'll keep... Star Fury is a material, so it'd actually be worth keeping. Oh god. Okay, so this is what gets combined into Zenith. Zenith is, I think, the best sword in the game. It requires Terra Blade. I'm surprised you don't need Star Fury to get Star Wrath. Maybe you do. No, it, it would tell me right here. So there's only one thing you can do with Star Fury, and that's. I feel like Star Fury got an upgrade. It doesn't use very much mana, which is nice. Not that we have very much. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Not a lot of editing, but a lot of progress made nonetheless. 
Um, I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, take it easy.